Hello and welcome to ATL Art Studio. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a dash hunt step by step. Let's get started. For this video, I'll be using Fabric Castle graphite pencils. I'll have everything linked down in the description. Now using a 2B pencil, I start off by drawing the pupil of the eye. I did make sure to add as much realism in the eye because it's going to make this drawing to really stand out. Using a 2H pencil to shade the edges of the eye, also being sure to add some highlights using a kneaded eraser. Right here you can go ahead and use a normal eraser if you'd like to, just as long as it gets the job done. Now using a 4B pencil to start shading in the shadows and small hairs underneath the eye. Now to begin drawing the fur, I used a combination of 5B, 4B, and HB pencils. To draw the fur throughout this project, I'm drawing a light layer of fur and then overlapping it with darker shades. Go ahead and put your thoughts down in the comment section if I should make a separate tutorial on how to draw fur. As you can see, I'm dividing sections of the head into parts to focus on. Here I give the section a base shade of HB pencil, and then I blend it with a brush. Also for blending the shading, you can also use a blending stump. And of course, finishing the fur around the eye. Now I will proceed to add highlights and finish shading the remaining parts of the right hand side of the head using a B pencil. Whilst adding more highlights, furs, and shadows to the face. When drawing the fur closer to the top of the head, it does get lighter as the, you go up. Now drawing the whiskers, you do not want to press too hard, but you do want to be able to see, still see them. Do not press too hard because they'll stand out too much and it'll take away from the drawing. Moving on to the nose, I'll be using a 7B pencil to do the base shade of the nose. And use a 8B pencil to draw the inside. Of course I have to add highlights and finish the other half all whilst using the 7 and 8B pencils. Finish adding the final touches. And now to draw the mouth, go ahead and use the same AP pencil to make it very black. And use the remaining lead of your brush to give the left side a base shade. Using a 3B pencil, begin to draw furs and shade along the middle and the end of the snout. Also, I have to, do have to mention the left side is brighter than the right. Add some highlights using a kneaded eraser and using a 3B and 8B pencils, we're going to begin to draw the left eye. As you can see, I have already drawn out that circle to show the crevice of the eye, where we will be working on now. Shade around the crevice of the eye using a 4B pencil and blend it whilst adding fur around it.
do continue to use the kneaded eraser to create highlights around the fur and the eye. Complete the shading and the fur across the rest of the head, blend and add the final touches as seen in the reference. Do remember to keep in mind that the left hand side of the dog's face is lighter than the right, so be sure to add extra highlights as seen in the reference. Adding the final touches, now we're going to go on to drawing the ears. Go ahead and take a 4B pencil and add a base shade, but do not blend it. We're trying to keep a rough texture on the ears. Carefully draw each individual hair on the ear until you fill it. Now take a 8B pencil and the kneaded eraser and kind of juggle them both to create the highlights and shadows as seen in the reference until you get the desired look. Using a mix of the 4B, 5B, and 8B pencils to do the same on the right ear as well. Do remember that the right hand side is darker than the left, so be sure to apply that to the drawing. Finally, using a B pencil, we're going to shade and blend the chest fur. We are also going to draw the curly fur in the chest carefully using the B pencil. Go ahead and add the final touches and we are done this drawing. As always, be sure to add your signature and the date and we are done this drawing. If you have made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Go ahead and put your thoughts down in the comment section as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my content and find it helpful. Go ahead and drop a like in this video if you've enjoyed it. And as always, hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.